Welcome to the Vancouver Dollhouse Show YouTube channel. While digging through my supplies looking for items to make a suitcase for a project I'm working on, I found hearts. Lots of hearts. To use up a fraction of my collection, I thought I would make a couple of projects to share on YouTube. I also seem to have collected a lot of words. So for this first project, I get to use up one word. So I'll show you what I decided to do with this. I painted it pink, but I wanted to use it as a plaque on a heart. So I need to do something with the heart so that uh, the word wouldn't get lost on the, uh, on the wooden heart. I went with a uh, three color combination to make the word stand out a little bit more once it was going to be glued in place. To uh, do the three tone, I first painted the heart uh, white and make sure you paint it the, a couple of coats so that you've got a final finish on your white. And then I just lightly sanded it to um, make it a little bit smoother. Then I took a piece of masking tape and lined it up at about one, the one third mark. Painted the heart uh, with the light pink color and once it had dried well I moved the tape up, created another line and painted the dark pink. To finish this off, I'll just apply a little bit of glue to the back of the word and affix it to the sign. So there you have it, a little, a little plaque that you can put on a shelf or on a wall. Next up, I wanted to make a wall plaque and sticking to my three color combination, I painted one heart in the dark pink, one heart in the light pink and one heart white again, sanding it to make it a bit smoother. Because I'm planning to stack, partially stack these on top of each other for the dark pink, which is going to be the top heart, I just put a bit of wood behind it to give it a little bit of a lift over the other heart. I cut a popsicle stick uh, approximately the size that I wanted for my plaque painted the edges white and just a little bit onto the edge so that if my paper doesn't quite fit then uh, the, the white will cover the wood part. I trimmed a bit of scrapbook paper to go onto the uh, popsicle stick, glued it in place. To finish the paper on the plaque just to make sure it fits properly I trim with scissors any of the paper that's overlapping and then just use a uh, emery board to go over the edges just to um, make the fit as tight as possible to the popsicle stick. Position the hearts on the plaque uh, the, in a evenly overlapping manner and then glue in place. I added a bow to finish off the project. Fatima covered uh, bow making in her topiary video that she just posted so I won't go into the details of making one. Uh, or you could top it off with uh, another little valentine or some no hole beads or you know, whatever you wanted for your project. For project number three, I wanted to make a standing sign to go beside the front door of my dollhouse. This is what I came up with. I took a popsicle stick and covered it with a bit of scrapbook paper, a heart for the stick to stand in, and I just cut a little bit of a, a groove out of it to help with the gluing and keeping it straight. And then three hearts 
I found scrapbook paper that um, where the hearts were almost the correct size to fit onto the wooden hearts that I had. So I'll show you how I worked with them. I put uh, some glue on the front of the wooden hearts. Again, I had painted the edges white so that um, it would be a cleaner look once I glued the paper in place. So once the glue is applied to the heart, let's take your piece of scrapbook paper and glue it in place. Set it aside until it has dried and then repeat the process with the other hearts. Like the stacking heart uh, plaque that I had just made, I repeat the same process of trimming away as much of the paper as possible and then using an emery board or sandpaper to go over the edges to get the, the fit as tight as possible to the wooden heart. To hide the white edges of the uh, scrapbook paper, because it wasn't quite the same size as the heart, I got out some of my distress inks from my scrapbooking section and then just used the product on the edge to get rid of the uh, bit of white that was showing. Once the edges are cleaned up, place your uh, finished hearts onto the stick. It's easier to glue them in place before you put the stick into the uh, support for it to stand up. So I will just take a moment to get those glued down. and then just leave it to dry for a few minutes. At this point, if you feel your uh, stick is too tall, you can trim it before you place it into the heart. If you're happy with the uh, height of it, then just add a little glue to the bottom and glue it into place. And there you have it, three little Valentine's projects completed, and I've managed to use up eight hearts. Yay! I thought I would finish this video by showing you a couple of things you could do to set up a small scene for Valentine's Day using some items from the dollar store or some things you may have in your own stash. This is a front door scene and I painted an oversized door from the dollar store. made a little Valentine's tree for the front door. Again, using up one of the many Christmas trees I seem to have accumulated over the years. And then adding the little Valentine sign that we made. Another quick little scene can be put together with a bookshelf, a chair, adding some plants or some presents. It doesn't take much to uh, dress up the few little items that we made. You could change the chair for a little side table. Whatever works to be able to put together a little scene for Valentine's Day.